It's a perfect note on which to introduce our next speaker, our Minister, Josepha Madigan, Minister for Culture, Heritage and the Gaeltacht, who will officially open the conference. Thank you. Well, I think if a picture uh, says a thousand words, then I think that movie says a million. I don't think anything any of us say today will compare to the, the uh, effectiveness of that. It speaks for itself. A yini ushle, to glunda kri, arm falcha, kuro, vermajan, agas kunkeid, kodo, nashunta, vieg sulata, naherin, ashola. To suligam gameg on kodo, sha, er on kaid kyan, de galore, kodo, lka, amak, and sha. The Chinese have a saying that is particularly apt for this morning. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. And we're all aware of the monumental challenges facing Ireland's biodiversity. We are the first generation, I believe, that has a clear picture of the value of nature. We're also terribly aware of the impact that we have on it. And there is much work to do and urgently. And we're here this morning to say that this, that now is the time for action. This conference is titled New Horizons for Nature, and that is what we need if we are to protect, conser conserve, and restore Ireland's biodiversity. Now is the time to look to a new horizon for nature. Envisaging that new horizon demands that we do things differently, communicate better, listen harder, think deeper and broader, engage constructively, identify common ground, and speed up the implementation of solutions that allow us to move forward together. Only 10% of the estimated annual expenditure on biodiversity comes through my department, and we own only a small portion of the land and waters that need our protection. This situation demands, as Kiron said, that we collaborate with farmers, foresters, fishers, local authorities, businesses, communities, everybody. There are many leaders in this room, and I call on you, each and every one of you, to lead within your own sphere of influence for a new horizon for nature in Ireland. For me, leadership means advocating for nature with my colleagues in government and in the Oireachtas. For the National Parks and Wildlife Service, it means doing the same with our colleagues across government. And for you, it means working with all of us and with stakeholders across society. Our rivers, our kingfishers, our woodlands, our salmon, our pollinators, our meadows, our eagles, our whales and dolphins, they won't thrive without that leadership. And some of them may not even survive at all. This government has articulated its vision in the National Biodiversity Action Plan and we have organized this conference and brought you all together here at Dublin Castle so that we can listen and learn from your vision too. But I didn't come here today to just talk and listen. I'm also here to lead, and that means doing more. So let me roll up my sleeves. My department, as you know, runs six national parks and 79 nature reserves across Ireland. We implement the Habitats Directive, the Birds Directive, and the wildlife act around the country every day and we work with other sectors to protect nature conservation we're continuing to rebuild the national parks and wildlife service and are in the process of filling long-term vacancies particularly conservation rangers across the country ecologists and scientific staff we're restoring bogs and we're working to hold the decline of the curlew we run education programs carry out extensive scientific investigations and monitor habitats and species. And a huge amount is being done, but more is required. And today, I'm making the following new commitments. Firstly, I will double annual funding from my department for biodiversity actions by local authorities, biodiversity and heritage officers to 1 million by 2021. I will also double funding to tackle invasive species by 2021. Secondly, I will establish a climate action programme within my own department to improve understanding of the impact of climate change on biodiversity. 
Thirdly, I will bring a memo to government on natural capital, raising awareness across government of economic and societal value that nature provides. Fourthly, I will create an Irish business and biodiversity platform with the Minister for Business, Enterprise and Innovation and a range of Irish businesses including Gas Networks Ireland, Airgrid, Keypack, Dawn Meats, Quilcha and Bordnamona. Fifthly, I will enact legislation uh, to create a biodiversity duty on public and local authorities to improve implementation of the National Biodiversity Action Plan 2017 to 2021. And sixthly, I will improve surveillance, detection and prosecution of wildlife crime with a memorandum of understanding with the Gardaí. Today marks the official launch of my department's public consultation for our climate change adaptation plan for biodiversity. The consultation document is available on our website and there will be a session at the conference on this tomorrow. And I'm also hosting a high level lunch here at Dublin Castle in a few hours with my fellow ministers, senior representatives from state agencies, CEOs and the NGO sector to ask them also to roll up their sleeves and go beyond their current programmes to make additional commitments for biodiversity. The new initiatives that Minister Bruton, Minister Murphy and Minister Doyle are due to announce today are evidence of this government's commitments to step up the plate on biodiversity. My team will report back on the outcomes of this meeting and the commitments made will form part of the charter for this conference, our Seeds for Nature which will be announced in full on Thursday afternoon. And I encourage you to have the conversations that enable you to work together to commit to solutions for biodiversity. Then share your plans with our team, no matter how small they all count, and they will be incorporated into our seeds for nature, seeds that I hope will take root and grow and flourish. And before I conclude, I'd like to thank a number of people this fantastic event has been made possible through the partnership uh, of the Department of Culture, Heritage and the Gaeltacht, in particular our National Parks and Wildlife Service and the Irish Forum on Natural Capital. In particular, Hannah Hamilton, Nyla Dunahu, my Assistant Secretary in the Department, Dr Kieran O'Keefe and Dr Deirdre Lynn. And also I'd like to pay uh, ombridge to, to Minister Heather Humphreys, who planted the seed for this event in 2017, and I think they all deserve a round of applause. <laughs> Finally, a number of bodies have provided funding for this event, including the Department of Agriculture, Food and Marine, the Department of Communications and Climate Action and the Environment, the Office of Public Works, the Environmental Protection Agency, Dunleary Rathdown County Council, Dublin Port Company and Quilche. And thank you all for your generous support. The Sulagum, Gameg Ra, Aaron Kogol, Agus Gameg She, Oshul Dive, Agus Toim Ogdnu, Leshna Torhi Ahort, Fridara. Gorilla Margaret.